there was a time when everyone wrote with a flourish. Today, hand lettering is an art form that is ever growing in popularity because it's not just visually appealing, it's a rewarding pastime. This old fashioned way of writing can be learned in calligraphy workshops. It's hard actually because you aren't accustomed to it, but it's fun and you see results pretty fast. I only ever saw it on Instagram and admired how beautifully some people are able to write. Calligraphy classes are growing in popularity in many places, and Germany is a case in point. A day-long workshop with expert Chris Kumper in Hamburg costs 160 euros and attracts professional graphic designers as well as amateurs. It's an analog trend. I once heard that a technique turns into an art form when it becomes obsolete. And maybe hand lettering's popularity comes from the fact that nowadays people even type their grocery lists into their phones and generally write less and less by hand. So there's a yearning to go back and take a pen in hand, precisely because you hardly need one in daily life anymore. Chris Kumper has made a career out of calligraphy. Apart from holding workshops, she's writing a book on hand lettering that's due to be published in spring. Her elaborate handwriting also graces the book covers she's been commissioned to design for publishers and agents. As the world goes digital, many companies have recognized the appeal of adding a personal touch through hand lettering on product packaging, magazine covers, or posters. Publishers are currently doing everything they can to lend books a special and tactile touch, so a font that you can tell is handwritten fits the bill. I see it as a counter trend to all the polished surfaces we have on our phones and computers. Hand-drawn lettering that grabs the eye is a trademark of artist Ralsi, who boasts 100,000 followers on Instagram. Optical illusions are one of his specialties. Ralsi comes from the French-speaking part of Switzerland, but he now lives and works in Berlin. He calls his work 100% analog, even when he draws computer pixels by hand. Ralsi creates logos for sporting goods firms and restaurants. And he shows his lettering art in galleries. I think that one of the main reasons why I like to do it by hand is uh, when you do it with a computer, it can be as beautiful as you want, but somehow it doesn't exist. It, it's only light and pixels, whereas this is, I mean, we can touch it. it. It's here with us, you know. After a few hours of intensive tutoring, the novices at the workshop in Hamburg are already producing some impressively swirling scripts. Mindfulness, patience, and dedication. Hand lettering demands qualities that have become rare in our fast paced world. But rather than spelling an end to the art of handwriting, it appears the digital age is fueling its renaissance. <laughs>